में काम से गुड आफ्टरनून सर गुड आफ्टरनून सर थैंक यू सर सर आई एम फ्रॉम बड़गाम अभी कहाँ से आ रहे अभी आई केम फ्रॉम राजबाग आई सी पी राजबाग सर तो क्या देखा राजबाग से यहाँ तक आते हो सर आई वॉज ड्राइविंग सो आई कूडेंट फोकस ऑन स्मॉल सर ऑल्टो एट हंड्रेड सर ऑल्टो एट हंड्रेड ट्रैफिक कैसा ट्रैफिक वॉज नॉर्मल सर नॉर्मल अदरवाइज सिटी में नीचे सर कंजेशन होता है सर क्या हो गया ये इतना सारा ट्रैफिक जैम तो होता ही नहीं था सिटी में या अदर एरिया में अरे तो इशू ऑफ ट्रैफिक जैम के सर लैंड यूज चेंज की वजह से हो गया सर बिल्ट अप एरिया बिल्ट अप एरिया सर कंजस्ट हो गया सर एक तो हाउसेस भी बहुत सारे हो गए हैं स्पेशली इन द डाउन टाउन सर एंड रोड्स आर आल्सो कंजस्टेड सर बहुत सारे रोड्स हैफर्टली एंड इट वाज नॉट अ प्लान सिटी श्रीनगर सिटी सो डेट्स वाई सर एंड बूम ऑफ कार्स एवरी हाउस होल्ड हैज एटलीस्ट वन कार सर तो आपका बड़ा सारा ट्रैफिक जैम रहता है Yes, sir, yes. Sir, There are various one hour to move from this airport to the Bardam town. Over the yes, sir. Because of traffic movement. Sir. Development deficit है क्या Bardam? Sir, planning proper नहीं है sir. Planning proper नहीं. Yes, कैसे नहीं है planning proper? सर वेन वी प्लान स्टी सर देन वी टेक इन टू अकाउंट वेरियस थिंग सर ट्रैफिक ड्रेनेज कंजेस्टेड एरियाज पेरीफरल एरियाज सो इफ यू प्लान ए सिटी इन ए प्रॉपर वे सर सो इफ यू आर पोस्टेड एज डिप्टी कमिश्नर बड़गाम हाउ विल यू प्लान अबाउट दिस्ट्रिक्ट सर वी कैन नॉट प्लान आर डिस्ट्रिक्ट नाउ द रोड कैन नॉट बी प्लान नाउ बट आई एम टॉकिंग अबाउट वेन वी एस्टेब्लिश अटाउन भी प्लान कर सकते हैं न्यू रोड न्यू जंक्शन न्यू फ्लाई ओवर आपके तो बड़े सारा रिंग रोड वहाँ से बन रहा है एचगाम से यहाँ से आपका फोर लेनिंग नेशनल प्रोजेक्ट यहाँ से चल रहा है राइट सर फ्लाई ओवर आपके बन रहे हैं इस बाईपास पर ही कितने बने हैं और बन रहे हैं और इनाग्रेट होने वाले तो वाई वी कैन डू इट Why you are so pessimistic? Are you a pessimistic person? No, sir. I am not a pessimist. Then why so much a pessimism is there? Sir, case? I would like to uh, strike a balance between development and nature, sir. Because if Kuch we can. कुछ भी है ना nature को मैं तो पहले development की बात कर रहा हूँ मुझे बताइए आप क्या करेंगे? Sir, development. As a developer of your district. Yes, sir. In terms of road infrastructure and traffic mess clearance. Sir, uh, I would like to uh, establish a proper traffic management system first. बिकॉज ट्रैफिक मैनेजमेंट इज नॉट प्रॉपर सर क्रॉसिंग आर देयर विल हैव टू एस्टेब्लिश ट्रैफिक मैनेजमेंट ऑटोमेशन सिस्टम ऑन द क्रॉसिंग्स एंड आई वुड ऑल्सो लाइक टू इम्प्लीमेंट अ पॉलिसी ऑफ ऑर्ड एंड इवन विच हैज बीन रनिंग इन डेली इन अच्छा ये ऑप्शनल सब्जेक्ट आपका एंथ्रोपोलॉजी ये क्या होता है सर एंथ्रोपोलॉजी इज स्टडी होलिस्टिक स्टडी ऑफ ह्यूमन बींग्स इन टोटैलिटी सर इट नो सर it it studies uh, socio cultural uh, aspects of humans mm. the evolutionary aspects of humans mm. uh, the history of humans sir mm. and uh, most importantly sir linguistic uh, ability of humans and we study these things in the cultural context sir mm. okay ye burzahama suna hai aapne yes sir i have kya hai sir burzahama is a, a neolithic site uh, in srinagar district mm. uh, A Neolithic period starts from around 6000 and ends around 2500 BC. So uh, there have been uh, uh, the artifacts found in Burzahama uh, are uh, harvester skulls, dog skull, no, and peculiar about Burzahama. Peculiar about. Every place is like that. Every side. Be. Avanti Pura, go there. Go there. Go there. Yes, sir. There are burial mounds, sir. Megalithic mounds and uh, underground settlements, sir. Which are a uh, typical feature of Neolithic uh, period. Dwelling. Yes, sir. Pit dwelling. Yes, sir. Thank you, sir. Pit dwelling coming from the Neolithic era. Yes, sir. 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 Hmm. He was a historian from Kashmir. ये बड़गाम कब बना? Sir, बड़गाम was established in 1979 hmm. as a district. उससे पहले क्या था? It was a tehsil of uh, district Baramula, sir. हाँ. Hmm. 
when Srinagar itself was the seal of Anantrang district. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay, okay. E-governance kya hota hai? Sir, e-governance uh, is the use of information, communication and technology in delivery of services to the citizens, sir. Can you picture, the, give us a picture of this e-governance? Sir, we are, Juman Kashmir? yes, sir. Through the boom of digital India, sir, uh, we, we have been able to uh, extend the services through e-governance, sir. For example, DBT, direct benefit transfer, for the beneficiaries, intended beneficiaries of various schemes uh, is happening through direct benefit, benefit transfer. Other enabled payment system is happening, sir. We are able to uh, lodge complaints on uh, JK Governor's grievance portal through uh, through its portal, which is also a, an aspect of e-governance. Uh, and uh, EKYC e is uh, being done in various schemes, sir. Achha, also. Bata, what are the qualities which a civil servant should have? Sir, for me, an important quality of a civil servant is uh, he or she should be dedicated to the civil service, sir. Apart from this, sir, apart from this, yes, sir, apart from this, there are some qualities which have been given by, or values, I would say, given by Nolan Committee of uh, England. These seven uh, qualities should be there in a civil servant. These are honesty, integrity, openness selflessness and uh, objectivity um, and uh, okay, accountability you have all these qualities in you i believe sir yes sir i do have mm -hmm. i am an honest person i am humble and kind i also have other uh, qualities like emotional intelligence sir. okay what has been your biggest challenge in your life till now and how you have handled it? sir can i take a pause sir? please Sir, this is my fourth appearance in the interview of this examination. I believe, sir, this was the, this, cracking this examination, I have faced this uh, four times, sir. And I believe this is the most biggest challenge in my life. And, uh, but, but, sir, uh, it has, it has disappointed me a lot, but uh, this has also made me humble, down to the earth. And, uh, and getting up every time when, when you are pushed against the wall. Okay, and so how do you bring this accountability in government functioning? What's your take on it? Sir, uh, sir most importantly, I believe accountability can be uh, brought in through uh, participatory governance, sir. Uh, mechanisms include uh, RTI, Right Information Act, audit mechanism, use of e-governance, e digital uh, aspects uh, and uh, reward and punishment for all the stakeholders which are involved in governance, sir. And uh, I believe, sir, there are some uh, some elements which should be brought in governance, for example, the role of law, uh, transparency and uh, uh, citizen-centric governance. Okay, These what are is things. this digital India concept? Sir, digital India concept is to make uh, India a digital superpower uh, by uh, making. Uh, can I take a pause, sir? Sir, digital India envisages uh, implementation of digital technologies in the service delivery system. Okay, uh, what motivates you to prepare for civil services? Sir, I believe civil services is a unique uh, uh, job or I would say a unique profession. Yes, uh, in, in, in astronaut is also a very yes, sir. profession. Yes, yes, sir, you're right, sir. But, sir, uh, civil services provides uh, a civil servant uh, to be a leader. It provides a leadership role at a very young age, sir. leader can fight elections in BKBML and be a leader. Yes, sir. Okay. But it, it will allow me, as far as I am concerned, it will allow me to use my creativity and uh, analytical skills. If you want to be creative, you can be like MF Hussain. Use your creativity and paint good pictures. Also, sir, I can be a part of public policy through if I am a civil servant. So public policy is the only driving force for you? No, sir. There are various. I, I told you, sir, right. that it will allow me to be a leader at a very young age. Second, sir, it will allow me to use my potential, my analytical abilities to the fullest. 
it will allow me uh, me to be a part of public policy cycle then public governance and it will also uh, and sir i am also passionate about being a civil servant these things motivate me to become a civil servant sir. what is this artificial intelligence sir artificial intelligence is the intelligence of the machines which have been given a lot of data sets to learn from that data and then uh, mimic the human intelligence in a more so human way. Human By mimicking uh, human intelligence, don't you think artificial intelligence is a threat to human creativity and in fact uh, human independence and human freedom? Sir, uh, there are pros and cons both of artificial intelligence and this is being labeled as one of the challenges of artificial intelligence that it will hinder the development of human creativity in the long run and it may also, algorithms may also overcome humans as said by Yuval Noah Harari, a historian in his book. But uh, I also believe that, uh, and sir, another challenge is that it will eat up a lot of jobs through automation. But I also believe that uh, this is human human endeavor as we saw from scientific revolution that it has been uh, to improve the human comfort and uh, human development as we say it through science and through technologies. Artificial intelligence is one of the technologies. Okay, what are the different tribal communities in Jammu and Kashmir and uh, where do, we, do they stand in the race for development? Can you just give me a picture of it? Sir, uh, as far as uh, scheduled tribe population is concerned, there are 10 uh, percent, uh, uh, they amount to 10 percent of our population. And in addition to that, 8 percent from Pahari, which have been given scheduled tribe status, it amounts to total 18 percent of our population. Sir, uh, there are various issues with their developmental indicators. For example, they have been uh, the victims of land alienation, indebtedness, sometimes bonded labor, which was, which was hereditary in some cases. And uh, health and educational indicators are not so uh, uh, encouraging in tribals. Sir. Okay, you have heard about this Dard tribe? Sorry, sir? Dards. Dards. Sir, yes, sir, I have heard about them. Dars, Dars are a tribe in Ladakh, uh, Indian territory, sir. Are you sure? As far as I know, I sir, mean, I may be wrong, sir. Sorry. Subject is anthropology. Yes, sir, I may be wrong, sir. I'm sorry. It's all sir. about tribes only. Yes. Then. Sorry, sir. I. You been to Gurez? No, sir. You have heard about Gurez? Yes, sir. I have heard. You have read about Gurez? Yes, sir. A little bit. You know the tribes of Gurez? Uh, not so particularly, sir. Really? These are tribes. Yes, sir. I will do it. Sir. Thank you, sir. sir. You are a civil engineer. Yes, sir. I have done B.Tech in civil engineering and completed it in 2015, sir. 2015. What are you doing right now? Sir, I am an account assistant, Panchayat, in rural development department. Panchayat account assistant. For the first time you are appearing in the interview? Sir, this is my four, fourth appearance in the interview, sir. In four attempts. What happened in the last three attempts? Sir, where did you score low? Sir, it was different in different attempts, sir. In first attempt, I got very disappointing marks in interview, sir. But in second and third, I got uh, encouraging marks. But uh, at least one subject was there, which uh, which was the factor. Inshallah, this time everything will be okay. Inshallah, sir. I hope you so. You studied in Kangra. Yes, sir. I have studied. What is Kangra famous for? Sir, Kangra is, is it's also called Valley of Gods and it is famous for Kangra painting, Kangra tea, Kangra fort and various temples are there which are famous. How would you relate Kangra and Kashmir? Uh, sir, physic physically, sir, uh, physical environment, uh, weather uh, I can see uh, in higher reaches of Kangra, Weather is more so similar with the uh, Kashmir Valley, sir. But in plains, it is tropical. Uh, and, sir, um, I, I would like, uh, there is also, uh, there are also peripheral districts like Kulu, where apple cultivation is done. And uh, apples are also grown in Kashmir. So, I can think of these two similarities, sir. So, why are you so particular about joining civil services? Sir, as I said, uh, civil services allows me to um, me to uh, use my potential to the fullest. I have some skills which I have learned through 
years in civil engineering also in my current job which allow me to be a uh, which will help me in becoming a civil servant and a good civil servant uh, apart from this sir as i said to sir it will allow me to become a leader at very young age and wo exuberance nahi aa rahi hai jo ek na इंटरव्यू में केएस के लिए तहसीलदार इमोशन ले आओ यार चाहे पर थोड़ा इमोशन उदास लग रहे हो इमोशन ले आओ पता नहीं मेरी फीलिंग है कि अदर पैनल मेंबर्स हैव आल्सो ऑब्जर्व दिस एब्सोल्युटली थोड़ा सा थोड़ा सा थोड़ा सा चमक लाओ अपने आप में थैंक यू सर एवरीथिंग इन यू टू क्रॉस द लाइन यस सर सो बड़ा कॉन्फिडेंट रहो होता है कभी दस नंबर इंटरव्यू में काम कभी कोई सब्जेक्ट में काम तो इंशाल्लाह मे बी दिस टाइम इंशाल्लाह होपफुली सर अपनी for uh, improved governance and uh, for uh, for inclusive development these values are necessary for a civil servant and uh, these al- values will allow me to uh, connect with the uh, beneficiaries and citizens and where i am posted sir weakness sir my weakness is i am uh, an introvert i i am feel very nervous while publicly speaking but sir i'm working on my uh, weaknesses and uh, hopefully i will get over this sir the introvert to ek acha cid mein officer ban sakta hai lekin aapne police ko last preference kyun de diya sir uh, i believe my aptitude is more so related and i'm passionate about civil services and if 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 an opportunity is given to me to uh, be a police officer obviously there is a training of 2 years so i will i will own my skills and i will uh, try to become a good police officer also okay. you are from padga yes sir i am from padga what is the name of your village sir it is munipapai munipapai isko kyun kehte hain munipapai koi wajah sorry sir i mm-hmm. i couldn't find sir anywhere huh? i i i i i consulted I consulted my. It's in it's in uh, Ichigam area, sir. Ishkut. Yes, Ishkut. Yes, Ishkut. Yes, Ishkut. Yes, Ishkut. 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 Ishkut.
so i believe sir and uh, a good civil servant uh, should be emotionally intelligent and uh, emotionally connected with the populace good enough to uh, serve there sir sustainable development goals inke bare mein suna hai yes sir what are sir these are uh, 17 goals given by united nations uh, which have to be implemented uh, from 2015 to 2030 sir yeah. these are important for sustainable development of the mm, there is a trinity of can you name some of the yes sir okay. yes sir uh sir so, so sdg 1 talks about poverty there should be no poverty by 2030 second is no hunger third is education and health fourth fifth is gender equality and uh, sixth is about uh is it is non biodegradable wastes kya hote sir non biodegradable waste is that waste which cannot be degraded by uh, microorganisms like and as like bacteria sir for example sir uh, plastic and uh, and solid other solid waste paper is also non biodegradable sir paper uh, yes sir paper non biodegradable sir some paper sun can be biodegradable sir on sir स्ट्रक्चर ऑफ द सॉइल which makes it uh, unfit for use for agricultural purposes and its fertility declines drastically sir in your opinion what is the best way for solid waste disposal for a city like city uh, sir solid waste contains both degradable and biodegradable for uh, degradable sir we should have solid solid waste biodegradable treatment plants we should be uh, established at a regular uh, places or intervals at the in the in the city sir for non biodegradable so and so plastic har jagah banao sir agar hum ek jagah banayenge to it will cause a problem to that area particularly but if we do it at the regular interval sir we'll need a small patch of land and uh, it will also be sustainable in a long way sir sure. Guru, uh-huh. okay. Thank you, sir. So I have some questions for you because you are in the anthropology. Yes, sir. पहले मुझे take up from जो सर आपसे पूछ रहे थे biodegradable paper का आपको confusion हो गया. Yes, sir. I got confused, sir. है ना? Yes, sir. Paper by itself is nothing. It's neither biodegradable nor non-biodegradable. Product is an end product. Okay, sir. What makes it biodegradable or non-biodegradable? Degradable is the raw material out of which paper is made. Yes, sir. If it is made of biodegradable material, then it is biodegradable. Yes, sir. आज कल प्लास्टिक पेपर भी आया है, सिंथेटिक पेपर भी आया है. So yes. if that is the base, so then it would be non-biodegradable. Yes, sir. So paper में जब कोई पूछेगा ये क्या है, तो standard plus should be depends on out of which material it has been made. If it is made out of biodegradable, तो अगले को पता चलेगा कि वो understood the concept, है ना? Yes, sir. So suddenly Thank you, sir. थोड़ी कहेगा biodegradable नहीं है, या है. history as we see it history as we see it sir it has been actually sir prehistory of humans it has been divided into three phases paleolithic mesolithic and neolithic paleo means uh, old lithic age stone age fir meso ho gaya middle uh, lith- uh, stone age and neolithic is a new stone age new stone age was characterized by agricultural revolution as said by gordon child the agri- the domestication of agriculture happened in this age only neolithic because that's why it was called neolithic age 
and sir, the tools were refined from the previous Mesolithic age into this Neolithic. They were refined, they were small in size and hunting and gathering gave way to slowly to agriculture and domestication of plants. And oh. it led to widespread uh, food production which uh, enabled uh, humans to establish settlements. Uh, listen, <clears throat> broadly you understand this, but that's for a non-anthropologist student. You use the word that there was revolution. Yes, sir, agricultural revolution. It sir. was not an agricultural revolution. Agricultural revolution is an altogether different bargain. It is farming. Okay, sir. Hey, na? Boi to pada hoga. Apne farming pada hoga. Agricultural revolution nahi pada hoga. Agricultural revolution ni modern constructed. Abhi bhi pata chala hoga revolution aa jata hai. Kya chala? Un dinon revolution ki baat nahi thi. What happened differently in Neolithic age was, insan ne farming shuru ki. Domestication of animals शुरू किया, right, pottery बनानी शुरू की, tools upgrade किए, therefore देखे में new stone age. age revolution बहुत ही मत करो, ये कौन सा revolution? अच्छा छोड़ो ये बात अब मुझे बताओ, अभी आपने बुर्जहमाक सर को बोला और ये भी both of you agreed को pits में रहते थे, yes, how do you imagine that life? क्योंकि pits में कश्मीर में बारिश भी होती है, snow भी है वो कैसे पिट में रहते हो तो मर जाएगा सर हाउ वाज द हाउ डू यू कंसीव द कंस्ट्रक्शन क्या होता होगा एक तो बना है इसने सर आई हैव बीन देर टू बोल सकता हूँ एंड आई हैव सीन द पिट्स सर आई बिलीव दे माइट हैव मस्ट हैव मस्ट हैव बीन कवरिंग द पिट्स थ्रो सम तुमने दम गए थे कवर कर दम गए इसने सुमेल भाई सी तो मुझे कब सी दूँ ये सर दे में से अपने सोचो थोड़ा बड़ा यार सोचो अभी कहीं किताब में ये नहीं लिखा है तुम सोचो कॉमन सेंस में क्या किया सर दे में तो क्योंकि इधर ओपन पेट ये क्या आशय है उन रास्ते में तब ये दफन गए थे मौसम के दौरान कवर कर रहे हैं जब दम गए थे सर एक्चुअली दिस पेट्स आर लॉन्ग and uh, they were not uh, residing just below the open sky they are in the form of small small caves uh, and uh, there are raised platforms where they could have ab, lived kyunki aapne dekha hai yes sir to isliye i will tell you did you find a cave there no sir but but sir i might have used the wrong word but sir these pits are deep enough and wide enough नहीं वो तो है डेप्थ और ब्रिथ से नहीं है आई एम आस्किंग वेरी सिंपल क्वेश्चन मतलब कि वो कैसे रहता था पिट इसको पॉपुलेशन रहते तो थे देयर इज नो डाउट अबाउट इट यस सर है ना कुछ सोचो यार कैसे रहता सर आई एम नॉट गेटिंग एन आईडिया राइट नाउ सर अगर आप जाओगे पिट में रहने तो हाउ विल यू सिक्योर योरसेल्फ कि आपको फॉर द करंट पॉपुलेशन फॉर करंट ह्यूमन बीइंग्स इट विल बी डिफिकल्ट बिकॉज़ वी हैव बीन एकस्टमर कुछ तो करोगे ना आप मजबूर हो यू आर अ न्यूलिथिक पर्सन आपके पास आपको पता नहीं ब्रिक क्या होता है आपको पता नहीं आर्किटेक्चर क्या होता है ये मुझे पता सहम चुकी तो ये कि अधिकार दबना इतना शोल हो आई बिलीव सर दे माइट हैव आप क्या दे माइट बी स्लीपिंग ऑन सम रेज प्लेटफॉर्म इनसाइड द पिट वेस्ट प्लेटफॉर्म में भी तो पर आप थोड़ा सिंपल सलूशन इस अंदर डंडन जोन पर खड़ा शेल्टर बचना तिल में पेस लूँ सर डेड्स पार्ट आई एम टॉकिंग अबाउट द कवरिंग ऑफ द आपने मैंने कवरिंग को आपको इसलिए उलझा दिया कि अगर आप पुट ओके सर सॉरी सर पिट को आपने बोला पिट को कवर करते हैं ओके सर ऐसे आप इसमें ना वहाँ जब आप जाओगे यू एक को कहते थे रेजिडेंशियल है। How did they determine कि ये पिट जो है, इसमें मतलब एक कॉमन पिट है ये। ये पिट है यहाँ कोई सोता होगा। Sir, I have not. What by the finds? Sir, finds. Anthropology पढ़ी है या? Yes, sir. Finds. जिसने ये दरिया आपके उस बेचार ने एंथ्रोपोलॉजी भी नहीं पढ़ी। Sir, finds were double burials, burial of bones of dog, a harvester, a skull. And uh, also we fi find their megaliths, but uh, I'm not sure why, why the... What is a megalith? Sir, megaliths are very large boulders which were used, especially in the southern India, hmm. uh, as gravestones. As? The gravestones. Do you think megaliths are the gravestone? No, no. Megalith? Sir, large boulders around the graves, sir. Stones, not boulders. 
ओके सर स्टोन्स और बोल्डर्स जिस लार्ज अच्छा चलो ये मुझे पता अभी आपने शेख उल आलम का नाम लिया उनका नाम किसके साथ एसोसिएटेड है How do you define Sheikh Ulalam? अगर आप किसी को पूछेगा उसने क्या किया Sheikh Ulalam? जैसे मुझे पता नहीं है आप मैंने सुना Sheikh Ulalam बड़गाम के के एरिया में सर ही जो स्पिरिचुअल एंड सूफी स्कॉलर क्या नाम था उसका क्यों अब आपने दूसरी दूसरा दफ्तर खोल लिया ऋषि कहते थे ना यस सर सर यस 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 सर 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 उनके फंडामेंटल बिलीफ क्या थे ये मत करो ना आप बहुत फसाओ अपने आप को शेव इज्म में है उधर इज्म है ये इज्म कहाँ आया सवाल शेख उल आलम का शेव इज्म का नाम भी नहीं है तो ये ऋषि थे ंडीजन इमेजिन करो क्या क्या ये सोसाइटी में कम्युनिटीज होंगी सेक्स होंगे जिनके लिए हारमोनाइज करना था तो इमेजिन करो सर एट दैट टाइम देर वर मोस्टली थ्री और आई वुड से टू फेथ्स प्रेवलेंट इन कश्मीर रीजन हिंदू एंड मुस्लिम्स तो अकॉर्डिंग टू एज फार एज दिस रेशी ऑर्डर इज कंसर्न दे बिलीव इन द हारमोनी बिटवीन हिंदूज एंड मुस्लिम्स इतने क्लास 21st century wala laad deto sheikh ul alam par so it was addressing the mass as such not a sect as such not a community as community such. as such thank you sir bro the kar shukur to kuch sikh hai kuch sikh hai to ye zara zehn mein rakho rishi is bana chhota aaj kal aapke paas itne sadhan hai panch minute ka pad lo what is rishi is that is rishi is Thank you, sir. I'll go. Dimag mein Hindu Muslim nikal do. This world has not been surviving by Hindu Muslim or non Hindu Muslim. This is a very recent mamla. Right, sir. Right? This is also a term. You have last question. You said that prehistory. Yes, sir. You have not said that. You have not said that. What is this prehistory? How do we demarcate? Now, this is history. That was prehistory. Sir, uh, the events from the development of human beings or uh, foundation of human beings in the world, uh, the events, these events have been uh, delineated into prehistory, protohistory, and history. Sir, prehistory is that. क्या क्या बोला आपने? Prehistory, protohistory, and history. Yes. Now it is not prehistory and history. It is prehistory, Proto- protohistory, yeah. history. Sir, the prehistoric period was that period in the human development in which uh, language was developed, but uh, the script to write the language was not developed. We could only uh, know so, about mm. know about their cultural development through artifacts uh, only. Uh, uh, but proto-history is that part of history after the prehistory, uh, which uh, in which uh, the script was developed by humans for the language, but that script has not yet been deciphered. 
what does it actually mean okay. and history is that uh, event uh, in the human cultural development uh, of which we have proper uh, historical records so language the and between these three words the history tab se shuru hoti hai jab se hume text aa gaya jab sir this is the main aage, main difference that is sir. historic period yes sir proto history is that period jisme even if there was no text but there was sufficient material to understand the historic part prehistory is that jisme written bhi nahi tha aur koi obvious presence nahi tha jisko hum define material presence se define kar sakte define kar sakte so that is the dividing line yes, thank you sir seedhe seedhe jawab hain sawalon ke aap time by mat karo That is how fear idea. Early history क्या होता है फिर आप प्री हिस्ट्री तो निकाली हमने फोटो हिस्ट्री भी निकाली अब कहते हैं ये अर्ली हिस्टोरिक पीरियड सर अर्ली हिस्टोरिक आप कॉमन सेंस से पढ़ो आई डोंट थिंक आपने कौन सी किताबें पढ़ी हैं और उस तरीके से वहां बात आती है अब सोचो जरा बिकॉज यू है sir early history uh, would mean as as you are saying that from common sense would no, mean a period sense. of history uh, which was the uh, which were initial uh, periods of the historical development of the humans mm-hmm. which uh, started around uh, 1500 bc through iron and early vedic age so do you think bc and bc mein hamare paas script tha ah uh, yes sir vedic age mein yes sir we Who had was a script सर वी हैव ओल्डेस्ट लिविंग बुक ऋग्वेदा सर वेदा स्क्रिप्ट था ऋग्वेदा उन दिनों पढ़ी जाती थी 1500 बीसी आई यस सर वी हैड अ स्क्रिप्ट एंड लैंग्वेज तो वो फिर हिस्टोरिक पीरियड आ गया है ना अगर पढ़ी जाती थी आप ही ने बताई देन आपके डेफिनेशन से तो हिस्टोरिक पीरियड बन गया सर दैट्स व्हाट आई एम टॉकिंग अबाउट अर्ली हिस्टोरिक पीरियड सर अच्छा मुझे ये बताओ जो आप हिस्टोरिक पीरियड में कहते हो रिटर्न व्हाट इज दिस रिटर्न थिंग किताब छपती थी क्या छपता था जिसके बजे बुनियाद पर वो हिस्टोरिक पीरियड हो गया सर रिटर्न इज अ लैंग्वेज एंड व्हाट वाज द मीडियम अ मीडियम वाज सर मीडियम वाज अ रिटर्न लैंग्वेज रिटर्न ऑन द बार्क ऑफ ट्रीज आज मैं राइट का रिटर्न का ये समझता हूं कि ये लिखा है सर दिस इज द रिटर्न हिस्ट्री leaves uh, barks of trees and uh, on some plates of rock and uh, clay those were the media sir okay so agar main aapko ye kahun ki early historic period mein jo ek kitab thi wo ek teen mitti ke slab the would you consider it as written history yes sir i would consider clay sir part. as far as definition is concerned because there was a secret yes sir so there was a record yes sir chalo theek थैंक यू सर ठीक है बेटा थोड़ा कॉन्फिडेंस बढ़ा लो बाकी सारा ठीक है हिम्मत है तो छोड़ना नहीं है इन हो जाएगा हैंड मूवमेंट थोड़ा सा हैंड मूवमेंट करनी है थोड़ा सा टाइट अनदर सूट एक्चुअली दिस इज माई ओल्ड ओल्ड लगता था जैसे आप सांस ही नहीं ले रहे हो सर आई डोंट नो व्हाट हैपेंड टुडे सर आई एम नॉट यूजुअली सैड इन इंटरव्यू जो के सो गया इंटरव्यू दो रोज का भगा चेक इंटरव्यू नो सर 25th हो गया खुश रहो कोई जो मेरा अपना नॉलेज है उसके बेसिस पर मैं जवाब दूं दाय माय मत डू डू एंथ्रोपोलॉजी की बात करें एग्रीकल्चर फार्मिंग को कहते हैं एग्रीकल्चर रेवोल्यूशन सर एक्चुअली एग्रीकल्चरल रेवोल्यूशन इज अ टर्म गिवन बाय सम स्कॉलर दैट्स व्हाई आई यूज करोगे ना हम उतना ज्यादा डीप इस चीज का देखो सर गिवन बाय टू टू साइंटिस्ट एक्चुअली जेनेटिक एज में है हर जगह न्यूलिथिक एज में आप करोगे फार्मिंग डोमेस्टिकेशन में एनिमल्स आपने फार्मिंग को कन्वर्ट किया जी एग्रीकल्चर कौन सा रेवोल्यूशन रेवोल्यूशन का हमेशा मतलब होता था समथिंग वाज एक्जिस्ट सिंपली बिकेम दैट यू रेवोल्यूशन था व्हाट वाज एक्जिस्ट नथिंग फ्रॉम फूड गैदर फूड प्रोड्यूसर्स ये था 
چلو اچھا مطلب ہے کہ یو ہیو نالج ٹھیک ہے آپ کا کچھ نہیں and i want to succeed as well i want to succeed in my life uh, excellent i might have committed mistakes but i want to succeed in life thank you sir thank you so much sir thanks thank you so much